Hello out there to you. In this video, we're going to figure out what the firm should produce with a perfectly competitive environment and uh, what is the shutdown price and what is the, this is probably the biggest thing, what is the short run total cost equation for this firm, okay? So uh, we've got a couple of things here. We've got marginal costs, they already did that for us. What level of output will the firm produce? So we're going to produce to our marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Uh, marginal revenue right here is 10. So we want to produce where 10 equals the marginal cost, 0.4Q plus 2. So that would be 8. This would be 0.4Q. And then divide both sides by 0.4. Q equals, even though I know the answer, I'm going to show you what how to do it. It's 0.4, and so quantity would be 20. It's 20 units for this firm, okay? Uh, assume the firm's fixed costs are 30. Okay, so now it wants us to write out a total cost function. Okay, so it'd be 30, that's our fixed cost, it won't change, plus... Okay, so our average variable cost is is this, and our an average variable cost is the variable cost function divided by quantity. So in this case, we have we want to de-average that. So we're just going to if you multiply this side by by Q and this side by Q, then you get the variable cost. So I'm going to multiply through everything by uh, Q, and that's going to give me the variable cost. So it'd be 0.2q squared plus 2q. Okay, so then I'm just going to plug that in because the fixed cost, total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. So I know the fixed cost is 30, so I just need to plug in whatever that variable cost is. And I just found it, it's over here, 0.2q squared plus 2q. Okay, so that's the answer to that one. Below what price will the firm shut down in the short run? So this is going to happen where the marginal cost equals the average variable cost. And that, that is because at the minimum of average variable cost, uh, that is the price where the, the firm can start contributing some of it to its fixed costs. Okay, you can prove this. I've proved that in other videos. But... Uh, just roll with that here. Okay, so what is the what is that price? Okay, so marginal cost is 0.4q plus 2 equals 0.2q plus 2. The twos will cancel out, uh, and we've got a 0.2q by both sides. Q is going to be 0. So you can plug in Q of 0 into either equation. Um, and we get uh, so quantity two there, quantity two there, and we would get uh, two. Okay, so two would be the price, the shutdown price that, that happens. Okay. In other words, the price needs to be at least two in this market in order to produce. Okay, short run profits for this firm. Uh, it's going to be total revenue minus total cost you actually have two choices here you can so you can multiply so total revenue is 20 times 10 so that would be 200 uh, minus the total cost so the total cost you can plug in total cost into this function here so the total cost producing 20 units is 30 plus 0 0.2 20 squared plus 20 times 20, and figure all of that out. So this is 200, uh, and this so this gives us 30 plus uh, 40, so that's 70, okay, plus this big number. So 20 times 20 is, whoops, something left in the calculator there. 400 uh, times 0 0.2 is 80. So, so that's 7150. And so profit is 50. Your other option is to take the price 
and subtract average total cost from that. So if you plug in the 20, so we've got 10 and then multiply that by the number of units. Uh, so I should probably put Q. This will also give you profit. So it's 10 minus, uh, we're gonna plug that into the average total cost. We need the average total cost for this last part, E. So average total cost is the total cost divided by quantity. We've got the total cost up here. So it's going to be 30 divided by Q plus 0.2 Q plus 2. This is the average total cost. So if you plug in uh, 20 into this, it's, it's 3 over 2 uh, plus 20 times 0.2 plus 2. And um, you'll get something. Uh, I guess I should prove that to you since we're doing that here. Okay, so it would be 30, 30 over 2, so that's 1.5. No, 3 over 2, 1.5. Plus 0.2 times 10. I suppose I could have done that in my, my head, but it's not 0.2 times 10. That's wrong. It's 0.2 times... Uh, 0.2 times the quantity, which in this case was 20, so it's 4. Uh, so that would be 6, because 4 plus 2. So I get an average total cost of 7.5. And the difference there is 2.5. 2.5 times Q times 20. Um, let's see what that is. 50 as well okay i i knew it had to have been 50 but i was a little unsure that just for something around that didn't look quite right but that also equals 50 so either way all right last time i want to show the level of profits in a graph using the relevant okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this in GeAlgebra. so i've already done this and i did a couple of functions here now you got to substitute because the in economics the price is always on the y-axis so i did y equals 10 that's marginal revenue it's a marginal revenue function y equals 0.4x plus 2. So x is quantity, y is, is price. So that's marginal cost there. Okay, And you can actually, if you want to, you could rename this. Instead of g, I could call it mc. Okay, so that, that was me doing that. You can do that. Uh, this one, average variable cost right there. And then average total cost right there. Okay, so I graphed all of them. And this right here, uh, is where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. And so that's the, the quantity there. This is average total cost. This is average variable cost. So you can see right here, there's the shutdown uh, price right there too. Uh, here's the break-even price. So the break-even price, we need it to be at least 6.89. And then the current price would be right there. So if you needed to like draw a graph here, what you could do is take a screenshot of this. You could say this is profit maximizing right here. Uh, you could follow this down here to here. You can draw that if you want to draw a little straighter. Right about there. And you could shade all that in as profit. So that's the profit. It's 250 times 20 units. Okay. And you could label all this stuff if you wanted to. MR. ATC and ABC, and that's how to do that.